I need to adjust the machine because whenever I sew on default settings, so I've got four threads, everything at default. I'm sewing on the stretch. When that happens, look at that. It's not great and threads are being pulled. And then when they pulled, it's distorting my, fab my fabric and the overlocking has become quite distorted and misshapen. So how do we deal with that issue? Right, let me show you. Then I've got some stretch velour. In this month's Love Sew magazine, um, this pattern was uh, supplied as a freebie. So it's quite a simple t-shirt, but I'm gonna zhuzh it up with some shiny velour. This velour's a thin fabric. Now, in another video, I showed you how to adjust your overlocker to avoid the loops that you sometimes see when you um, sew on stretch fabric. So this is an extreme example of the loops overhanging. So go and watch that video. If you're having issues like this, have a look at that video and see how to resolve your problem. So I'm, I've got my machine set, factory settings. Again, check your manual to see what your default settings are on your machine. Make sure it's nice and clean and um, you can uh, get your machine working properly at default settings. So this is factory settings. I've got loops hanging over. I'm actually on this video of not going to adjust that, make that adjustment, and I can see some pulling there. So that's a differential feed issue. So I've got some adjustments that I need to make, but the fact is I've actually got this fabric, which is a stretch. Now I've sewn across the stretch part, let me show you. So we've got a, a slight stretch that way, but a huge stretch that way. Um, I need to be able to pull this and it not um, lose its shape. So if I pull on that, you can't see this, but you can feel it if it happens to you, is all your threads get pulled out and you find your fabric now distorts. Can you see that? It's just not sitting properly at all for me. And the threads get pulled out even more. And again, it's a really simple fix. What we need to concentrate on is why it's happening. If we look at this, um, there are too many threads. So what I would like to do is remove one of the threads. I'm going to move, remove the left thread. So if I remove the left needle thread, so that's there, just chain that off. So that's giving us a lighter finish. So I've got one less thread hanging on this, this very thin edge, uh, thin fabric. So I've got rid of one thread, so that's, that's much lighter. The second thing is we need to, now you can see it's not puckering. If I cut a straight piece, let's cut a straight piece. So we're going to cut on the stretch. So we want a nice stretch piece. I need to sew it along there. So let's lay this fabric on there so that we make sure we get the stretchiest part of this, the fabric. So I want to be able to cut along there. Nice and straight. So I'm following the weave of the fabric there. There we go. Okay, so we've got the stretches part there. So I've got rid of one thread so far, made it lighter already. ever so slightly off there so that's 
we've got slight loops forming there and a slight curve but what I want to do is I want to when I pull this I can still feel the thread pulling from that way all the way up to the top there and then again it's distorted my fabric again so what I need to do is loosen not my needle tension because all that will do is loosen the stitch against the seam which is the seam I want to loosen some of the loops and the loop I want to the looper thread I want to loosen is actually the upper looper six increase it significantly because it's stretched I don't want to distort that fabric at all if I remove that there I put that there I need to be able to see that it matches and it doesn't doesn't want to so what I'll do just to show you again is I'm going to cut another piece off there I'm going to search that little bit there and just take off the tiniest amount just why not okay so we've loosened the tension to six and let's see what happens and you can see the fabrics feeding straight it's not curving off to either side if it was curving off to either side I'd know the differential feed rate was wrong but because it's got smoothly working its way ahead towards the back I know differential feed is correct okay so again let's place that there now that's really improved hasn't it so I've not got any loops hanging over and if I pull on that, great stuff. There is no thread being forced out of my overlocking. And when I've stretched it, you can see no loops are hanging over. And if I place it against the fabric strip that I've cut, it's absolutely perfect. And that's it. That's all I needed to do. So if your fabric's not stretching and the overlocking is, can see it was just the upper looper we needed to change nothing else and perhaps get rid of one thread just to lighten the weight of the locking on our very lightweight fabric so go and enjoy <laughs>